Hi guys, I'm Melissa. Welcome back to Cloud Mom. Answering a question today from Andrea0318. Is it okay to swaddle nighttime and naps? I'm having a hard time with naps with my two-year-old. Great question. You are right in my most favorite area of discussion, which is babies and breastfeeding and sleeping and nursing and how to take care of babies. And here's what I do with my babies, and I hope it's helpful. I treated naps like a mini bedtime. I really did in all ways, which meant that I did swaddle my babies at two months old, and I had them in the crib. I had the blackout shades. I had the whole kit and caboodle. Now, a lot of people don't agree with this. They think that for naps, you should have the drapes open and you should get the baby used to sleeping in the daylight. And this, I think, is actually very helpful if you travel a lot or visit family members a lot or you're going to be out a lot and you want your baby to be very flexible about when he or she sleeps. But I was home so much that I just decided to use, you know, the advantages that I had. So I blacked out the room and had a basic, like, a mini, you know, bedtime for naps. So anyway, that's how I approach swaddling. And I have a lot of videos about swaddling, about arms in swaddling, arms out swaddling, why at a certain point you want to drop the swaddle when the baby starts to self-soothe and what worked for me. Take, check those out and I hope that they're helpful. And another comment about getting your baby to go to sleep. Two months old, you're saying he's having a hard time with naps. Pick your baby up out of the crib. Make sure your baby doesn't need to burp. Sometimes one little burp can be keeping that baby from going to sleep. That aside, see if your baby wants just a little bit more breast milk or bottle. I had times where five seconds worth of breast milk and they were done and they were gone and they napped for two hours. It was amazing to me. It was like there was a little teeny, teeny bit that the baby needed just to top off and feel good enough to go to sleep and I couldn't believe that was holding the baby back, but that's the way it works. So make sure you're not looking at a diaper, make sure there's no gas, they don't just need to burp, and make sure they don't just need a wee wee bit more with food. Um, one other comment, and I did talk about my swaddling videos, you say you're having trouble with the naps in the swaddle, is the baby getting out of the swaddle? Look at that whole thing and see where your baby is. Some babies are so active with their arms that they're really fighting the swaddle and you might decide to move to an arms out swaddle. That might be more helpful and you might see that the baby's starting to find a finger or a thumb which will help them sleep better during the night. So anyway, hope all of this is helpful. Thank you so much for writing into Cloud Mom. I really appreciate it. Best of luck with your beautiful, beautiful baby and see you next time.